Okay, I had some problems with GIMP. Apparently it didn't work with my old video capturing software and um, as it turns out, I think I've had this problem with GIMP once before with another program. I don't really know what it was conflicting with. You should test GIMP yourself and see if you have any software conflicts. I um after that I started having problems with my video capturing software so I had to move on to something else. Right now I'm using Hypercam. Anyway, um I palette all my images with GIMP and I added them in Fighter Factory to the um SFF file. which is right here. Sometimes the first image will not be where it's supposed to be. Sometimes it'll be down here or down there. So just be um, accustomed to re resetting the X and Y axis. As you can see, I made some modifications to the images that I showed you in my last tutorial. I added um, the life bar images underneath group one and um, these images are under group 5 so even though they're in the same file they need to have different group number sets so you won't have as much confusion when it's time to code um, you'll need to leave Fire Factory open just so you'll be able to see your image numbers the next thing that you do is go into your documents or wherever you left your files go into Megan's data folder now in here you will be using some you will be modifying some of the files outside of the Megan one folder you'll be modifying the fight effects uh, SFF and AR files and you will be modifying the fight sounds and system sounds and you'll be possibly modifying the config but the first thing you need to do before you start coding is to go into your systems file open it with notepad and take a look around and see what your local coordinate is um, <clears throat> you want to make sure that the local coordinate for your system file needs to match whatever size screen pack you're trying to make. So I'm making an HD screen pack for so mine is at 1280720. Um if you do not set your local cord and try and make a screen pack for another size things may look too big or too small. So that's the first thing you need to do. And once you change the local cord, save it and then exit out. By the way, this is the width and this is the height just so you'll know um, after that go back out to the main data folder and click on your configuration file you want to make sure that the width and height that you set in the local port is the same for the game width and game height in the config section of your configuration file um, I if you know uh, had it set originally to 920 and 690 and I was using a local coordinate of the standard definition which is 640, 480. Um, if you go to Megan Forms or whatnot, you'll hear a lot of people saying that the standard resolution is 320 and 240. You, that's just, I don't know, most computer monitors are larger so you should probably ignore that. Now full HD and HD are a bit larger and um, I hear that these two are supposed to cause your computer to lag and to hurt on your computer. I've used this re resolution and I've never had any problems. 
at one point I was making a screen pack with images that were a bit too large and ended up with something that was close to full HD. I changed the images. I shrunk the images and turned it into a high definition um, screen pack, but I didn't have any problems with full HD either, but I have a pretty good computer, so who knows. Um, after you change the config, exit out of this, and then finally you can start coding. The first thing you want to do is when you open your fight definition file, you want to change the SFF um, file link to whatever your SFF file you made happen to be. Um, I originally had it set to rush fight, but I deleted rush fight after saving it somewhere else and replaced the name with this SFF file, which is the one we're, we're working with. Um, there's other stuff down here you do not need to modify right now. And at the local um, coordinate sets the resolution for you get for it sets a resolution for the flight definition file. You don't need to mess with this stuff here up here. This doesn't do anything, by the way. Um your flight effect scale is also not affected by your system's local coordinate resolution. I'll get more into this later when I do tutorial on changing the default flight effects. The first thing you want to do for your life bar are uh, set the default positions for player one and player two. These are the master positions and they affect everything in this section underneath it. Um, player one background zero happens to be the master, well it happens to be the true background for an image. For I mean it happens to be the true background for uh, your life bars. The true background would be this. And since it's root 1, image 0, what you do right here, what you do right here is, damn, why did it have to be so loud? Anyway, um, the background sprite's number was root 1, image 0, so I typed in root 1, image 0. You offset is relative to the master position and it's offset down by 51 pixels. This is the X coordinate. I mean, this is the Y coordinate. This is the X coordinate, by the way. Layer number comes in only two flavors. Layer number one means it's on top of the portrait, and the layer number zero means it's below the portrait. And it, most of the time, your backgrounds will be below the portrait, but it as you can see, there's a hole in line, so I'll actually be sitting on top of the portrait. The scale factor is related to whatever your resolution and your configuration happens to be. A scale of 1 to 1 is the normal size of the image. A scale of 2 to 2 is twice the size, and a scale of 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 is half the size.